Trials is a lost art. And people got into the just to push button, get mortgage. And there is a super large sub, right? We just hit a trillion dollars in credit card debt. There's a reason nobody's doing anything on the back end. Think about all those people that took a 15 year mortgage out at 3% and you did that and their DTI was 28 over 42. That was when their credit card was at 9%. Their credit card's now at 24. You have people running around that nobody's calling about a cash out refi because they're saying, oh, they're at 3%. They're now a 28 over 57. Their kid's not doing ballet because, right, they don't have the money to spend. There's people hurting out there. Nobody wants to talk about it. But there are, I mean, just a ton of people hurting. And it's our responsibility as an industry to go out there and start talking about the problems and make it an open invite for people to come back and reach out to your local lender. We're not here to judge. We're here to help. The reason why nobody's reaching out is because no one has a relationship. You, you don't want to ask those kind of questions because when you feel, oh no, they're only calling me for this particular reason, there's no relationship. So there's an awkward feeling reaching out. So just like you said, the art of sale is completely gone because if you're not checking in with people and seeing how they're doing and having a bonding relationship, you feel uncomfortable asking them about their credit cards. And that's the true root of the problem. We find today that the biggest hurdle to home ownership is cash at closing. Today, there are several grant programs available. Now, these are not like the old DPA down payment assistance programs of the past where they jacked up your rate and added a second mortgage. This is actually a cash grant given to you at closing. You can get four, five, or six thousand dollars depending on whether you're a first time home buyer, a repeat home buyer depending on where you're moving from or where you're moving to. I've been in this business since 1998. And you know what I did today? I learned something listening to the three of you. And hopefully you all learned something listening to me. But learning isn't enough. I'm going to tell you what you need to do. I'm going to help you figure out where to go by understanding the concept of IMA. I-M-M-A. We put all this great information that's out there about down payments and grants and what's going on in the amount of loan officers who have left the market. We got great information, but you got to do what? That's just I. You got to MMA it. You got to get the right mindset. You know, I can get into this house. You got to get the right message that is out there. The message is I need to work with a good professional. And the A always, the A so important. What is the action that you're going to take based upon the information that you just got? Look, getting a great big education, getting a lot of information and doing nothing with it, that just makes you a book. You need to take your education and flip the C and the A and turn your education into edu action because that's what's going to make you successful and get something done. Yes, thanks so much for having me on. Um, what, a, what a great conversation. Loved hearing the other guests. And uh, it was great to be able to talk about um, not only my journey at Sagent, but you know the last 25 years in uh, mortgage technology. A lot of stories could go on for hours. So many people and times and uh, ideas and, and um, just really, it's been a, a really fulfilling time. And uh, can't wait to talk about what's coming next and uh, I will keep you guys posted as the journey continues. Last two years have been a challenge. We all know that. It's all been out there. However, here's to all the originators out there. It's time to evolve. Nobody's coming to save you. Interest rates are not going down. They may go down a little bit. Uh, however, here's what I'm going to tell you. 74% of loans are at 4% or lower. If you think the refis are coming, this is something I started saying last year, that this industry has this Paul Revere syndrome. They keep saying every six months, the refis are coming, the refis are coming. They're not coming. Even if rates get a little bit lower and we don't have inventory. That's just the facts. Uh, still going to be a good year compared to last year. Last year had 4.3 million units. This year is going to be about 5.3. And there's a bit of attrition. So now's the time to dig in. It's a great opportunity for any originator, anybody in leadership, especially if they're young, they want to go to the next level. Because as Michael said earlier, there's not a whole lot of Gen Xers in this industry. It's pretty much Gen Y and baby boomers. And we're seeing the retirements happen after one another. So now's probably never been a better time to be an originator and to really take it to the next level. However, that's going to take you doing the work, reading the industry, six, 10 hours a week, going, knowing what's going on and really taking your 
leadership to the next level. And it's really how you demonstrate your actions and more importantly, how you always raise up the consumer. Oh, today, you know, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I really did. And I think one thing uh, that I felt I, I was reinforced and made to feel like maybe we had the right concept. Um, you know, certainly we expect to grow and any IMB should should always be considering that because if you're not, you're going backwards, of course. But it, it it's probably in the right time to expand into areas that you're not so familiar with. Uh, maybe it is best to, in this environment, stay in your lane, improve your processes, improve your AI, as we talked about. This was awesome to be able to spend some time with originators. I spend time with companies all through the space. And one of the things that we talk about is building value, not only in yourself, but also in your business. You don't have to be big. I mean, better and doing it right is probably the right thing to do. And I had the opportunity today to share a bunch of ideas and things that have worked for me over a long period of time. And some are tried and true and some apply to digital AI and all the things that are changing around you. At the end of the day, one of the things that I think that's most important is investing. And part of that is learning, constantly learning and being in front of uh, what I would say would be issues that affect this industry and then opportunities and things that you might see. And we are coming onto the biggest opportunity probably ever in mortgage banking where you have interest rates that have gone way up, come down a little bit. You're going to have inventory begin to show up and you have scads and scads of tappable equity that's available to LOs. And the challenge we have is that we're tired, we're old, and you just got to get off and get ready because it's going to come.